County Sheriff's Office made more arrests over the weekend for meth. Sheriff Sam Cochran sat down with me today to talk about those arrests and the meth tax program that continues to bring in tips to the department. Five more meth arrests this weekend for the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Sam Cochran said four of those came from one house. They knocked on the door, they heard noises, and then, of course, they, they, they found people, they could smell the fumes. They ended up making arrests for manufacturing meth and some various other drug charges. The meth tax program gets the credit. Cochran started it in 2009, and recently he has updated the program to help capture suspects more quickly. There's now a direct patrol that can immediately respond to meth tips. We, we've sort of ac expedited the response. Our investigators are, are frequently tied up on major drug investigations, and, and depending on the information and the type of nature of the complaint, they may or may not be able to immediately launch into a new investigation. So we've sort of cut them out on many of these things that require a quick response so that our directed patrol, intelligence-led policing in the field are able to respond immediately. Cochran says through past tips, narcotics units, and deputies out in the field, the sheriff's office has created a database directly about meth users. We've got this great amount of intelligence information and we probably already know something about the person that we're being tipped off on. That helps us to further substantiate the information being provided to us and of course make timely arrest. The sheriff printed 97 pages of text today that have come in as tips to the meth tax program. He says his department follows up on every one of the tips. He says meth is still a big problem. It can all be made in the back room of the house or in the backyard with ingredients bought at one or two locations nearby where they live. So, and, and, and methamphetamine is such a, an addicting drug that people, even when they realize they're going to get caught, they still do it with devastating circumstances. But the sheriff says his office is constantly changing tactics as the meth dealers do. And remember, you can send a text message, send a message through the Sheriff's Office website, or anonymously call in meth tips 